Hey Aquarius, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading for April 13th through the 20th. All right, so we're doing a past, present, future reading. So some of you might be more in the past, which might actually feel like you're present. <laughs> Um, some of you, most of you, I feel like will be in the present and some of you might have experienced what's happening in the present and in the past for others and you're more in the future. So it's kind of like three little readings in one. Whoops, I take this card back because I didn't mean to put it down. We're using the Kipper deck for the future. The Kipper deck is a fortune-telling deck. All right. You are going to be on the top, and your person's going to be on the bottom, but they can be switched. They can be reversed. So if you feel like you resonate more with the bottom over the top, that's fine. That can happen. Okay, let's see. What do we have? All right, so let's start with the past. Okay, so we've got the child. So this, this literally, you know, could have something to do with children, but that card in general is about a new beginning or a fresh start. So in the past, there was a new beginning or a fresh start between the two of you or the two of you had children together. All right, so let's see. For you, we have the Chariot card of Cancer. All right. And for this person, we have... Ten of Wands. All right, so I feel like, here's the thing, I feel like both of you wanted this fresh start. It was more of a burden for some reason for this person in order to have this fresh start. It was more of a burden for this person. This fresh start really allowed you to be able to follow your heart. You felt like you were following your heart, and this person felt a heavy burden by having this fresh start with you. So, why is that? Why did this person feel a burden? All right, so we have five of pentacles. This person, your person may have really lost a lot in order to have a fresh start with you. They might have lost everything. And at this point, you might be aware of that. You might know that. What else? Three of Wands. I feel like their intentions were, were completely true towards you. For some of you, I feel like you need to hear that. 
Their intentions for this new beginning were absolutely genuine and true. And I feel like this person lost a lot in order to come towards you. So, Chariot, what's this for you? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and Two of Cups. So this person actually might have lost a job in order to have a fresh start with you. Whenever the Two of Cups shows up, that tells me that the connection was absolutely mutual in the past. What you were feeling, they were feeling. This person might have lost a job because of you in some way and that's not to put any blame on you it you know these are choices that this person I feel made so what's happening right now uh-huh we've got the birds so other people somehow are involved right now when it comes to the two of you. Other people. We have the emperor for you. I feel like you might be trying to control these other people, what they're saying, what they're doing. And this person now has the chariot also. So in the past, it was you that followed your heart. And now this person, I feel like after they got through a difficult time, what they're telling other people is that, that they just followed their heart. They did what their heart wanted to do. I'm curious why this emperor is here for you. Three of Swords. These other people could have really gotten to you. So you might have ended it with this person or... I almost feel like, and this is weird, I almost feel like the two of you might have faked an ending to avoid people talking about the two of you. The two of you might have worked together. Like this, this could represent the two of you hiding from other people. That's weird. It's not weird. It, well, I mean, it's interesting that that came out. Not weird. Interesting. Let's pull a card for the chariot. Five of wands. Look at Look at all these people. It, this definitely is what, this is what this is about. You know, this person I feel told all of these other people that they just followed their heart. You, you might be controlling, trying to control what these other people do and think and you don't like it. Or the two of you, avoided all of these people by not letting them know or you're hiding the connection that you have. Or you're still together, really, and you're pretending that you're broken up. I don't think I've ever read, read it that way before. All right, so what's coming in the future here? All right, so we have the main male. Are you the main male or the main masculine? Hmm. 
We have the Queen of Wands, so fire energy here, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And we have Aries here. And then this person down here, we have the Five of Cups. All right, so clarify the Queen of Wands. We have the Fool. All right, so I feel like in the future, you up here are possibly partaking in some risky behavior. You are possibly taking on the role of a mistress. I don't want to say that. That's what this is telling me. Taking on the role of a mistress with a new main male and this person down here, five of cups. Look at. Here is the two of cups. The two of cups always lingers in the five of cups. What is this person upset about? They're holding on to this Two of Cups. Here's the Three of Cups that they're upset about. And here's Mr. Third Cup. All right, so let's clarify the Five of Cups. We got King of Wands. All right, so I feel like what is going to happen for you, Aquarius, is we've got Queen of Wands and King of Wands. So this feels like a soulmate connection. This could be, this feels like something new. Fool. Fool, Queen, King. Anytime we see the, the same element with the King and the Queen in the same row, It's a soulmate type of connection. This five of wands also means, this could mean that this main male is showing up or the main masculine is showing up here in the present. And this is about competition, gossip, fighting, fighting for your attention if you are the feminine. Quite a story. One more card, just to clarify this main male. Three of Wands. Three. So, Three of Wands can indicate that there are there are clues. Right now, there are clues to this person that this new possible soulmate that's coming in for you, I feel is around you right now. And this person is picking up on it. That's why this person has the chariot down here in the present. Now they're following their heart. Five of Cups, though, they feel they're going to feel this loss in the future. What direction you're going to go in, that's up to you. Lots of people here. Lots of people. You, The two of you are dealing with lots of people. You might be dealing with this main male. This person might be dealing with this main male as well in some way. Or... Or this person, your, your first person here, is trying to convince other people about you. Maybe, hmm. You might have been, you might be controlling all of this right now, pretending that this, that the two of you aren't together because there is another 
main male or main masculine in your life that just showed up out of the blue that feels like a soulmate to you that creates a situation of three but it also creates a situation of clues for this person who is figuring it out who has figured it out five of cups or who will figure it out so be mindful of that you know and for those of you by the way for those of you that like to condemn people in these types of situations try not to do that please because people don't purposely put themselves in these types of situations they're very difficult for all involved <laughs> and you know i and it's amazing how sometimes when you condemn somebody for doing something or possibly doing something or judging somebody, it's amazing how that same situation will find you. So that's why you don't judge. Because anything you judge is really something or really a lesson that you probably haven't learned yet in your life. And it will find you. So just be mindful of that. And I don't even know where that came from, but, you know, I'm just saying. All right, guys, that is what I have for you. If you are looking for a more personal reading, um, by all means, reach out, and I am here for you. If not, no problem. Um, I will be doing a topical reading at the end of the week. All right, so that's what I got. All right, have a great week. Bye-bye.